All right, I would like to uh, Hi, Patty. <laughs> call this uh, virtual special board meeting of the Niles Main District Board of Trustees um, to order. Um, would you please do a roll call? Erin. Here. Carolyn. Here. Diane. Here. Patty. 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 Sorry, I was muted and didn't realize it. I'm here. Great. Linda? Here. Sue? Here. All right. The next thing we'll do, as usual, is we will do the Pledge of Allegiance. So I do have a couple of flags here um, that we are using. So if I can ask you all to stand. I'm not standing. I'll just sit. Can everybody uh, join with me? The Pledge of Allegiance. To the flag. To the flag. To the United States of America. And to the Republic for which, for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay. Thank you. Um, I think Tim's uh, video flag might have been a little nicer, but uh, maybe I'll get to that one of these days. All right. That's fine. Oh, all right. So um, the next thing on our agenda is public comment. Do we have any requests for public comment? I did not receive any in advance. Okay. <clears throat> All right then. Um, so if we do not have any public comment, I think the next thing that we need to do is discuss our procedure for this evening. Um, so as you all know, the reason for tonight's meeting uh, was to select a trustee to replace Tim Spadoni, who resigned as of the last meeting. Uh, Tim served us for a, a while, uh, well as a trustee, but uh, as we all know, he has moved outside of the district. So we do have a vacancy. And um, to determine who the replacement will be until the next election, we've done what we've done in the past, and that is uh, sent out a notice or put a notice in the newspaper or put a notice on our website saying that we do have a vacancy. And we're very fortunate uh, to get a number of applicants who are interested in serving on the library board. And I'm, I'm very gratified about that because just like the rest of you board members, I, I really love the library and I care about the library and I'm glad other people do too. So I'm, I'm very happy about that. Um, so at our last meeting, we decided we would proceed in the same fashion that we did uh, the last time that we had um, a vacancy on our board. And what we will do this evening is we will interview each one of the candidates who is able to join us tonight. Um, we will individual do this in executive session, not an open session. And so we'll interview just that one person at that time. And then that person will be excused and we'll move to the next person uh, and so forth. So we do have a schedule to do that. Uh, we're gonna interview the applicants in alphabetical order for want of any other better idea. Um, so we're going to be doing that, but the first thing we need to do is talk about the way we're going to conduct these interviews. Uh, now, some of you may recall the last time we did this, we had a schedule of questions that we used that we'd come up ahead of time with. Um, Susan Lemke graciously went through her files and pulled those questions out, the ones that we asked last time. I looked them over. I thought they were all pretty good, but uh, they're perhaps more than we need to ask. Uh, uh, it may cause the meeting to go um, a rather long period of time if we each ask each person each one of these questions. So, oh, absolutely. <laughs> so anyway, um, Susan, I think you maybe, I know, Susan, perhaps you can jump in here. I don't know if you suggested an abbreviated list, but uh, if you did, I, yes. I didn't seem to get it, or perhaps it got lost among the many emails I have. Yeah. So. I did. So I would suggest at this point that I move everybody that is not a trustee for the moment out of the back into the waiting room 
And then we'll bring Mr. Byrne in in just a couple minutes after we go through the questions. Does that sound all right? That, that sounds fair in that uh, we, we don't want to give anyone any hints what these questions are going to exactly. be until they actually uh, join the interview, which, which all right. not that there are hard questions really. So that's what I'm going to do now. See you momentarily. And Cindy as well. There we go. Okay, so now it is just, so um, I sent out a list of five questions, the five questions that were pulled from, the, uh, they're basically the top five. On my okay. list. I have them. I find where I put it. I have them, Susan. Okay, okay yeah, here, it's, it's uh, you got please it. tell us a little about yourself. Why do you want to be a trustee? What do you see as the role of the public library in the community? What issues do libraries face at this time? And is there anything else you would like us to know? So, so it's basically the top four. Yeah. And top then five. is there anything else you would like us to know? Yeah. Is that it? Yep. Mm -hmm. and, and I'm not married to these by any means. It's just that, you know, I, I do, you don't have all night and it'll get way yeah. behind if we try to do all of these other questions. But, you know, I, I'm, I'm suggesting I am not, it is really 100% up to you guys. All right. So it, the it, last, qu what was the last question? I'm sorry. I have one question and uh, if it's appropriate to ask, because if um, we're gonna select somebody who is going to serve um, till the next election, is that is that correct? Yes. So the person who is, is being selected, um, if they want to run again, they should be in the process of getting a petition and getting signatures and to get on the ballot. And right. Do we want to let them know that and ask them if they're interested in that, or is that inappropriate? No. Um, I don't think so. What do you say? If they know enough to apply for this, I would assume, since it's posted to get the petitions, if you're going to run, they would know about it. Should we, could we ask them? Because that may be helpful to know if we're going to... No. Like well, we we have asked that. them that in the past. We have asked that, okay. and we've asked people if they plan to run in the next election, okay. and if they plan to run for a two-year spot or a six-year spot, or if they've decided. And well, I know one candidate did write it down. Okay. Right. So, and the reason we've done that is because I think, as we all know, it takes a while to become an effective trustee. It's not something you can just learn in a few months and it takes a fair amount of time on behalf of administration and the other trustees uh -huh. to sort of break in a new trustee, so yeah, to speak, I can't uh, hear. the way we do things. Pardon? So um, I, we have asked that before, and I, I think it's an okay question. Although, again, we're looking at a number of questions, and I don't know how many we want to ask. So, Stu, is that one that you want to throw out I, there? I would, because I think that that, that I, we can hear investment in the position. Sue, can I ask you a question? Yeah. Out of the five that we have, which one would you substitute that for, in your opinion? Well, do we have to then substitute? I mean, can we just add a quick one on? I mean, it's a pretty simple or, answer. Yeah, but we're, uh, I guess, I guess, I guess it is. All right. So it's, actually, we're putting ourselves to 15 minutes a candidate, aren't we? Yep. And, and now we're already a little behind. So. We, yeah, right, right. Okay. So, um, uh, Susan Lemke, you said the last question would be, is there anything else you want to add? Is that right? Mm -hmm. Is that maybe pretty much, please tell us a little bit about yourself. I, I mean... Yeah, you could just leave that out. Okay. So I'm going to... Or, you know, and is this, or, and would you consider um, also running as a candidate, you know, in the next... Yeah, it looks like Carolyn would like to talk. I don't seem to be able to unmute her, though. Oh. Carolyn, Carolyn, you have to unmute yourself, don't you? Alt A. There you go. There. There you go. Okay, you know, I, I, my, con my connection was lost. So did we decide we're going to ask them in the questions if they want to run for the office? We're talking about that now, Carolyn. Yeah. I didn't know if you made a decision. I just no. have one, one comment about that. During these interviews, I think it makes them, I think we give them the impression that maybe they sh should run or I don't know if that's part of the interview process, but my goodness, next month we could certainly say, if you're interested in running, you need to get petitions and they're due by December. But I don't know if everyone who's get, trying to get their feet wet 
wants to run, and I don't know if we're making it feel like we're expecting that by asking the question. What do you think? Well, the thing is, how many people do we want running? Because there's eight people who put on petitions, or is it nine? You could have a hundred. You mean well, there, anybody can run? Yeah. I, I'm not questioning that. I'm just saying the public might get a little more confused the more candidates you add. You know, six is one thing, but yeah. 12 well, or 13. Okay, Diane has her hand up. Yeah, I just think personally, I think that uh, it's not necessary to ask them that question. They are well aware if they've been following anything. I, I think that if you're going to mention looking at it from our perspective, if, if we're going to invest time in teaching them and the administration is going to invest time, it might be helpful to know if we're investing time in the future also. That's my okay. reason I'm looking at it. Linda has her hand up. Right wait, wait, wait. Linda's had her hand up for a little bit, so go ahead, Linda. Um, I do agree with Sue. That is a very important part for me to know that the person is vested in the position and is willing to put in the time. So that is a pertinent question in my view. Okay. So we'll right. use that as a deciding yeah. factor. Well, then maybe we can tag it along with the last question. Like, is there anything else you'd like us to know? It, like, for example, are you interested in continuing this another six years? With or, okay, you know, okay. just tag along with another question. That sounds good. Okay. Right. So the last question: Who asked the questions? Karen, do you? All right. What I'd like to do is I'd like you each to pick one question that you are going to ask, and you are going to ask this question of the same uh, of every person. I might just leave myself out. I'll just sort of do the introduction. But uh, each one of you pick a question. Linda, did you want to pick a question? You had your hand up. Um, no, I agree with that. I like that. Okay. All right. So everyone pick a question and whoever calls it first gets it. Four. I'll do the first one. Which is what? Um, Please tell no. us. Tell, Please us, a tell us a little about yourself. Okay. And the uh, one I'll said is, what issues do libraries face at this time? Okay. okay. Um, number three, what do you see as the role of the public library in the community? Okay. I'll do two if it's left. There's two left. Yep, two is left, Carolyn. Okay. Uh, and that's why oh. do you want to be a trustee? Okay, is that yeah. right? Yes. Okay. So and then if that leaves you, is there anything else you'd like us to know, including whether you'd like to be a trustee or run? Uh... Wait a minute. I have Sue, I have Carolyn, I have Diane, I have Patty. Which one did you ask for, Linda? The last one. Oh, okay. All right. So, Linda, you're going to do... Oh, well, now, how are you going to ask it? Because you, you just want to ask the same question of each person. Okay. Yeah. So, is there anything else you would like us to know, such as... Future if, plans to serve or whatever. If you are interested... Okay, you guys ready? I bring in Mr. Wait, Byrne. Wait, can I just mention one thing that, that, that we have to be very aware to spend the same amount of time on each candidate. So let's try to keep to the 15 minutes as much as we can so we're fair to the candidates. Thank uh, you. Yeah, I think we shouldn't go over, but if someone doesn't has very brief answers, fine. We don't need to spend the full of time there. That's right. 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 In okay. one last Susan, quick thing. I think if you do a, a poll rating on, you know, if there's eight people and you say, I'm going to give them one out of eight or something, it, you know, that may help you keep track, mm -hmm. uh, maybe a good way to kind of rank them as you're going through. This person was a five, this person was an eight, you know. Yeah, okay. right yeah. Yes, Susan. Really, really, I'm sorry. Like, how are we going to put in our vote at the end? Well, let's decide that, that the end, okay? Because I don't want to keep people okay, waiting bye -bye. any longer. Okay, right, Susan, okay. Susan. Yes, ma'am. I think my internet's gonna go out. Should I call by phone? Because I think my phone is stronger. Can you see me from the phone as well? We would not see no. you from the phone, but we, we would at least have your Zoom voice. voice. You know, which you or you could click on Zoom if you installed Zoom on your phone. Phone, and then I can see what's going on from my phone. Yeah, but you yeah. but you'd have to install Zoom to do that. Oh, I don't know. But if it I doesn't take long. It on my, or just, just call in. You just click on the link and you know it says what? install. If I, 
If I disappear, I'll be doing that. Okay. okay. And okay. then you can just move on. Sorry. Okay. Good luck. Okay.